Ripley. She's thinking about it. I should have got her some blueberries or something to bring over here. I might stop the camera and go do that if she doesn't uh, gain some courage here in the next few minutes. Keeps leaning forward like she's gonna jump. But she's still a little nervous, I think. Ooh, here she goes. There you go. What do you think about this new arrangement? It's a little a little more cozy over here, I would say. In my opinion at least. There you go. She's actually reacting a lot better than I was expecting. I like to say that uh and don't take this the wrong way because I mean it in the most literal sense. The toucans are, they're kind of like autistic children in the sense that um, they just don't like change, they want things to be the same, you know, things like that and the way they react is sometimes they throw tantrums if there's a change, so, and that's kind of how she is. I've gotten new things that I've just put out here, like plants or whatever, and she doesn't like those. So, this whole rearrangement has actually gone over pretty well. What do you think about that, Ripley? She's still a little cautious. You can tell by her body language that leaning forward and kind of sprawling her feet out. Getting close to the ground. Come here. You're okay. No, you're okay. Nothing's gonna hurt you. See how I made a quick movement like that? She didn't like that. She's kind of uh, cautious right now, like I said. You have to kind of learn how to read their body language. If it wasn't me, she probably would have bit me in all honesty. But she recognized who it was. And then I wasn't a threat, so. I think the most difficult thing about birds is just learning their whole body language because they are very, I would say they're very communicative, but I guess that's the right, the right word I would use, but uh, not in the way that we would think. It's kind of like you have to reprogram your brain a little bit and understand how they communicate their emotions and what they're feeling with you. All in body language and subtle movements, the way their feathers are positioned, things like that. So I'm gonna go get her some food, and since she's reacted so well, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out, in all honesty. I didn't really know what to expect. already back to destroying things. That was quick. You must be comfortable now. Can I have that? 
now. Can I have that? Please, please, can I have it? <laughs> okay, she doesn't want me to have it. <laughs> I'm going to get her some lunch, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. If you're interested in learning more about Toucans, please subscribe to our channel. And also, we have a Patreon account now. So if you'd like to support or adopt Ripley and I and help us continue to produce these videos and hopefully go out to other zoos and uh, even film some in the wild, you can support us through here.